We begin in China specifically, a report in Nature Research Journal. They looked at two hospitals in Wuhan, China. Researchers found that new coronavirus particles linger. What it's not clear is if these bits, these particles can cause infections. What the status is, will vaccines, they continue to be in development. All of this while nations are beginning or planning easing of restrictions. In Germany, some schools reopening on Monday. Throughout the month of May, a gradual reopening. We are talking about hard hit Spain and Italy. Italy, Austria, and in the epicenter of the United States, New York State, as Vani was mentioning, upstate area opening first, specifically construction and manufacturing before coming south to the denser areas of New York City. Over in the United Kingdom, Prime Minister Boris Johnson returned to work on Monday. He cautioned on opening too soon, though. He said that could risk a new spike in infection. And in Indonesia, health officials there saying normal life will resume. In July, after an aggressive three-prong plan, it includes COVID-19 testing, contact tracing, as well as continuing strict social distancing measures. Overall, the worldwide global cases are nearing 3 million deaths, surpassing 207. 207,000 therapies continue to be tested, specifically Sanofi and Regeneron. Final testing includes the use of a rheumatoid arthritis medicine. It's called Kevzara on the sickest of patients. It's having anti-inflammatory effects on some of that inflammation in the lungs. Red Hill Biopharma also testing treatment in some patients, and there is some initial good data that is coming out of that trial. And I'm going to leave you with this. For the first time in eight weeks, electricity usage rising in the EU, including in Italy and Germany during the lockdown, and that's being interpreted as a sign that economic activity is starting to increase in some of the areas hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic.